Good morning and welcome to a brand new day here in Bangkok and uh, today I'm going to work in a slightly different way. I'm not going to go in a tuk-tuk, I'm not going on the BTS or the MRT. Today I'm going on a boat through one of Bangkok's extensive canals. Let's see how it goes. This morning I'm only traversing a tiny fraction of Bangkok's canal network from Tong Lo to Asok, a journey taking about 10 minutes and costing only 10 baht. But Bangkok still has 1,682 canals, totaling 2,604 kilometres of trafficable waterway. Many of those canals are also primary flood drainage conduits for a city that's never quite figured out how to cope with its wet season downpours. Throughout history, the Thai capital was crisscrossed by canals, or klongs, gaining the city the nickname the Venice of the East. The klongs became a vital connection for Bangkok life, for transportation, for floating markets, but sadly also for sewage disposal, although much of that situation's been attended to in the past 20 years. Now many of these klongs of Bangkok have been filled in, with the canal routes now becoming major arterial roads through the capital. Across the Chao Phraya River on Bangkok's western banks, known as Tombri, there are still some of the city's larger klongs. Recently, the BMA, the Bangkok Metropolitan Organisation, has announced a 150 million baht makeover project to rehabilitate some of the area's more popular klongs and bring them back to life. Now that the city's BTS and MRT train network is crossing over to the west side of the Chao Phraya, Tombori is seeing a resurgence of interest, with some of the city's bigger companies now moving their headquarters there. But on the east side of Bangkok, the Klong San Sep is the major thoroughfare and it runs all the way from the Chao Phraya River at that end to Bang Kapi at that end, covering an amazing 18 kilometres of waterway and servicing most of Bangkok's major commercial districts. Construction of Klong San Sep began in 1837 and was finished in three years. For years it became clogged with lotus plants and was basically unusable until the BMA rehabilitated the waterway in the late 1980s and introduced the public transport services in 1990. The route is now served by 100 boats carrying around 40 to 50 seats. It operates from 5.30am to 8.30pm daily on weekdays but carries its last passengers on the weekend at 7pm. It also operates a reduced service on Thai public holidays. It's cheap, only around 8 to 18 baht, depending on how far you go. And even if you wanted to travel all 18 kilometres along the Klong, it would only cost you a total of 18 baht and take about 45 minutes. The service carries about 60,000 passengers per day and is run by a company called Family Transport. Now the government has spent quite a lot of money and effort in trying to clean up the water in the Klongs of Bangkok, but uh, just casually looking here at the water, you probably wouldn't want to swim in it. In 2015, Prime Minister Prayut Chanachar initiated a two-year effort to clean up the canal, inspecting some 210 potential polluters along the canal route, and found that nearly 40% of the hotels and condos, along with around 20% of the commercial premises lining the route, were discharging wastewater into the canal. Many faced large fines, and now the quality of the water has definitely improved through the efforts of the BMA. Now on the west side of the Chao Phraya River in Tombri, the BMA is poised to spend some 150 million baht on rehabilitating around 15 kilometres of canal, which is part of the city's attempts to bring back the good old days when Bangkok was indeed the Venice of the East. 
Klong Bangkok Yai is a historic Klong on the west banks of the Chao Phraya. Originally it was part of the actual Chao Phraya River. The course of Bangkok's main waterway was longer then. Those who wanted to travel by boat had to cruise along the river, which took more than a day, until the king of the Ayutthaya kingdom ordered the construction of a canal bypassing the long and winding loop of the Chao Phraya River, reducing travel times and changing the course of the river to present day. The rehabilitation scheme is aimed at promoting the historic Western Canals as part of an alternative water transport network and plans to add 30 long-tail boats to take tourists to visit the temples and communities along the area's klongs. So there are many ways of getting around Bangkok. You've got the MRT, the BTS, the tuk-tuks, the taxis, you know all about them. But next time you're in Bangkok, maybe you should think about trying the ferry services here around the canals of Bangkok.